So this summer is proving to be one of the hottest summers ever with some record breaking heat in some parts of the world. And let me tell you, when the temperatures rise, there's nothing better than a refreshing dish that fills your body with so much goodness and you don't have to cook anything. Today, that's exactly what we're doing. We're making a Spanish tomato salad. This salad has so many beautiful and refreshing flavors to it. It's above and beyond easy to make and it comes together within minutes, folks. It does not get any simpler or better than this. Let's begin by rinsing a couple tomatoes under some cold running water and then gently patting them dry. Now to make this salad, I'm using some tomatoes off the vine, which are also known as better boy tomatoes. These are the ones that are typically used to make this salad here in Spain. However, you can use whatever tomatoes you like. Once the tomatoes are ready, I'm gonna cut them into slices that are one eighth of an inch thick, which is a little over a quarter centimeter. To make this tomato salad, you can cut the slices of tomato a little thicker if you want, but don't go any thinner than one eighth of an inch, otherwise they're not gonna have any texture to them. Once all the tomatoes have been cut, I'm gonna place the slices in a single layer, and we're gonna season them with sea salt and black pepper just on one side, and let them sit here for a couple minutes. This is gonna help extract some of the water out of the slices of tomato. That way later on when we add the dressing, they can really absorb all the flavors. While our slices of tomato are resting, let's make our homemade dressing. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil into a small bowl, which is 30 milliliters. Now the olive oil I'm using is from the Georgetown Olive Oil Company. This is an extra virgin Spanish olive oil made with a Pequot olive. It has such a beautiful flavor to it, and it works perfect for this tomato salad. Link where you can get some in the description box below. I'm also gonna add in half a tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is eight milliliters. You can use any other type of vinegar you like, such as white wine vinegar or even red wine vinegar. Then we'll grab one clove of garlic, finely grate it into the olive oil and vinegar. If you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince the garlic. And we'll also add in one teaspoon of dried oregano, which is one gram, and season with a kiss of sea salt, and a little freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll whisk it together until all the ingredients are evenly mixed. After leaving our slices of tomato to rest for just a couple minutes, you can already see that some of the water has been extracted and they are ready to go. I'm gonna transfer them into a serving dish. and we'll evenly drizzle the homemade dressing over the tomatoes. For the final touch, I'm gonna grab a handful of fresh parsley, finely chop it, and we'll sprinkle some over the salad. Our Spanish tomato salad is then una ensalada de tomate. Such a beautiful presentation, refreshing and healthy. You can add this into the fridge for about 30 minutes if you want. That way all the flavors can develop. Either way, let's give this a try and see how it tastes. Folks, this is what Spanish cuisine is all about, where simplicity meets extraordinary. Here we go. Absolutely delicious. The beauty of this dish is the texture of that tomato. By letting the slices sit there with the salt and pepper, just for a couple minutes, it removes some of the water in the tomato. That way can really absorb that homemade dressing. Folks, you saw this so refreshing, beautiful flavors, healthy for you to try it at home. Promises to fill your body with so much goodness. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Nancy T, David Anthony, Michael Fenter, and Catherine Clark. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one as it really helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this. You'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.